Adrian Romanoff, Adrian Barton, nice to see you again. Dr. Banner, Mr. Stark, welcome to Washington. Thanks, Nick. Been here before. Never goes well for me. Thor, glad to see you can make it. I trust your trip was pleasant. It was fast at the least. And Captain Rogers, always nice to see you out of your apartment. It's nice to be out and about again, sir. I'm just sorry it took so long. Thank you all for coming on such short notice. As you may have guessed, this is the first official meeting of the Avengers. Now, I realize what the six of you faced in New York last month was trying, and I certainly wouldn't blame an ordinary person if he or she never wanted to experience some shit like that ever again. But you are not ordinary people. You are extraordinary. Do not let it go to your heads. But you are all forces to be reckoned with. That being said, the American people- I'm sorry. If I may, sir. Director Fury, we are all so honored to be here today. I'm so honored. And to, to be working with a good and honest man such as yourself. And we all, Mr. Stark in particular, owe you our deepest thanks for looking past our flaws and shortcomings and for bringing us together to serve not only this great oh, nation, Peter but Jesus. the entire world. And sir, I just want to take a moment to recognize how hard you must have worked to be standing with us here today. And I, I realize it must have been a long and difficult journey for a colored man like you to gain a foothold here in- Hold on! What? No, 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 Steve, remember, we had a talk about this. I had a talk with him about this. You can't call people colored. Whoa. It's not acceptable. Well, all Cap was trying to say is that we're happy to have you as our director and we're eager to get on with this mission brief. Ah, uh, come on, Cap. You're on the right track. That is not a good idea. Well, I was just saying that I know how hard it must have been for a Negro to make his way in Washington. Captain Rogers, do you know who the current president is? Yes, I do. And I gotta say, as the son of Irish immigrants, I'm proud to call President Obama my commander-in-chief. Why, has his administration been helpful to Negroes? Oh my word! What is a colored Negro and what quarrel does Washington have with it? No, 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 there's no, there's no quarrel between America and African Americans. It's just that historically, there have been a few um, issues. Oh! Have... So now, hundreds of years of slavery, Jim Crow law, and continual no. police brutality and no. racial profiling is just a few issues? No, no. Is that what I'm hearing? No, that is not what I'm saying. You're you right. carry yourself well for a slave, Nick Fury. You That's should be what proud. I'm saying, Dr. Banner, and I'm sorry. Did I just get called a slave? Or did not mean to call you a slave, director. And would somebody explain racism to Captain Rogers before little black Zambo comments start flying and I'm forced to re-educate him with my bare goddamn hands? Do not be quick to judge him. He said nothing but kind words of your people. He tells me that in this country, those with dark complexions are regarded as great singers and musicians. That they invented the jazz cigarette. He also tells me that you are all blessed with very impressive members. Christ, hey, Rogers. Just leave the Jesus out. That is scientifically inaccurate. It is? Son of a bitch. Yeah, who answers like We have many people with dark skin in Asgard. I asked my friend Heimdall about his manhood, and he confirmed that it is indeed massive. Clinton, and I would really like to get back to the mission brief now if we could. I thought that big dick thing was true. Partner, are you kidding me? Not true, okay, everybody back on topic. Hold on now, that one is sometimes true. Okay, uh, send me a few posts on Yahoo Answers here. What's the story on watermelon, fried chicken, grape drink, Latinos, and back more? Tommy! Would you like to step outside with me for a moment so that I can beat your witch white ass? Director, first give me a pissing contest. I think you should know. I'm a little dehydrated. A little Kool Aid. Do you like Kool Aid? Calm down and change your tone. I'm sorry, Doctor. I didn't mean to make you upset. I just thought the director might be a little more comfortable if he wasn't the only giant, angry person of color in the room. Oh, God damn it, Tony, do not start with me right now. Shut the fuck up. Now, I understand that you are all raging sacks of testosterone competing for Earth's mightiest douchebag. And I give you all an A for effort. Really, I do. But I have had it up to here with the bickering and the immaturity. So, if you gentlemen are quite finished, I have some shit I would like to avenge. <clears throat> Director Fury, sir, I apologize for my offensive comments, and so does Mr. Stark. 
Won't happen again, sir. May we proceed with the meeting? Finally, someone who can occasionally act like an adult. I accept your apology, Captain Rogers. Okay, so, next for our business is the recent kidnapping of 20 additional young women by Boko Haram. And I think Natasha's got the, you know, I just can't focus with this question still in the air. Macklemore. Yes or no? Oh, that's wrong, Tony! Really? Really?